In this med mastery lesson, you'll learn what clinical nutrition entails and why it's important. Clinical nutrition is all about optimizing patients' health with nutrition and is one of the many fields that dietitians, otherwise known as the food and nutrition experts, can practice in. This takes place most commonly in healthcare settings such as hospitals and outpatient clinics. While clinical dietitians should be available in these healthcare settings to answer questions and manage nutrition care, it's important for the rest of the healthcare team to have some working knowledge of clinical nutrition in order to care for their patients well. That's why I'm here, to help you understand your patient's nutrition better. Clinical nutrition is quite different from the other fields a dietitian may practice in because clinical nutrition revolves around medical nutrition therapy. Medical nutrition therapy is an evidence-based, individualized nutrition process meant to help treat or support certain medical conditions. It's based on decades of medical research on the relationship between diet, nutrition, and health outcomes. The medical nutrition therapy process starts with gathering background diet and anthropometric information on the patient, meaning their weight, their height, and their body mass index, or BMI. Some of the questions we might ask are, has the patient been eating consistently? Have they had any barriers to maintaining their weight, such as illness, nausea and vomiting, or swallowing difficulties? Or have they had any unintentional weight loss? Next, we look at information that will help us understand the patient's clinical status. For example, what medications are they on? Have they had any surgery? Have they had any relevant imaging? What are their labs? If they can't eat enough to meet their nutritional needs and will need to receive either tube feeds into the gastrointestinal tract or intravenous IV nutrition via an IV catheter, then do they already have either a feeding tube or a central IV in place? All of this information will change the appropriate course of medical nutrition therapy for our patient. After assessing the patient and identifying their main nutritional problem, the next step is to work to resolve it. Clinical nutrition recommendations include suggestions about what therapeutic diet, tube feeding formula and rate, or IV nutrition prescription the patient should be on. We may recommend checking nutrition-related labs, replenishing electrolytes, or initiating a vitamin and mineral supplementation routine. Now that you understand what clinical nutrition is, it's time to talk about why it's important. As we all know, food is fuel, and we need fuel to live. In clinical nutrition, it's essential to identify those in need of extra nutrition, either because they're malnourished at baseline or hypermetabolic or both. Having malnutrition, which is the state of being undernourished or having any sort of illness or trauma, contributes to an elevated nutritional risk, meaning the risk of not meeting the body's nutritional requirements. Why? because both malnutrition and illness increase the body's nutritional needs, and it can be very difficult to meet these increased needs. If your patient doesn't get enough nutrition, their risk of complications is higher, including delayed wound healing, infection, compromised kidney function, visceral organ atrophy, and reduced function of the muscles and heart. There's an association with a longer and more expensive hospital stay, a worse quality of life, and increased mortality. That's where medical nutrition therapy comes in. Providing the correct nutrition regimen at the right time can help modify and even redirect a patient's clinical course. For this reason, identifying patients with malnutrition and ensuring they get the calories and protein they need is the mission of inpatient clinical nutrition. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.